Well, your team's won uh, two of the last three. Um, doing some good things right now. What do you What do you see that your team's doing good right now? Well, I was pleased that we we came back from the West Coast, uh, winning two out of the three. We played. Uh, Bakersfield, who at that time was the best team statistically in the in the league, and um, played a very fast pace, and we countered that, and um, really played a solid game up there, which we needed. Um, we hadn't won a big game in a little while. We had been, you know, kind of 500 over the last couple of weeks, so that was good. Uh, then we backed it up with one in LA, and then just quite didn't get get over the hump that third one. So. Um, I think the, the, the main message here is it's, it's playoff time, you know, and we've been here uh, and we've got some experience now in, in, in CP and Ramon and, and Matt and Trey who were involved in the, in the run last year. Um, and then we've got Jordan and, and Travis who have been in playoff games before. So um, just focusing, just, uh, just making sure that we're ready to get our work in um, and then be ready to go talking to Trey and he, he said it almost seems like the guys are playing a little bit harder. Do you, do you notice any of that? Um, yeah, at times we have. Um, and then there's been a, a little bit of slippage um, where we've let teams back into the game and then we've had to ramp it back up and close it out. Um, I wish we were a little bit more consistent than what Trey's saying. Um, but uh, there has been, there's definitely been moments when we played really hard and, and, and together. Anything that you see that you or feel like you need to work on uh, as you guys get ready for Sioux Falls? Just our mind, just being, just being clear on uh, on what the game plan is, um, being united as a group, uh, getting our work in, and then being really focused and, and ready as we go up there. And obviously, we as I'm not sure if you guys keep an eye on that wild card race. I'm sure you do. But uh, is, is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, there's any number of scenarios that can play out here. Um, you know, we need to win. The bottom line is um, we need to get the game Friday. Um, then we'll know more uh, before Saturday's game. Uh, Iowa plays three games down the stretch. We only play two. Um, if we win out, we're in um, for sure. If we split, then Iowa has to slip up uh, in a couple of different scenarios, um, and then and then we wait and see. So um, the only thing that you know, we can only approach this one way is, uh, like I said, be ready mentally, be clear on, on what we want to accomplish, um, get our work in, and then um, uh, get our rest and be ready to go. Any concern that the guys might uh, you know change the way they play just because of the implications of the games? Uh, no, um, you know, they'll feel a little pressure just because uh, the intensity level of the game is going to ramp up very quickly. Um, Sioux Falls is battling uh, for a seated position, um, even though, you know, everybody thinks that they're in the playoffs. Statistically, we can knock them out. Um, so they'll, they'll be, there's a lot to, to play for, uh, and I think just for that, the intensity level will, will rise. But I don't see it affecting our, our, our individual play where players are going to gonna go try out and, and, and try and do things that they're not capable of. Are you able to sit back and enjoy the NCAA tournament at all? Uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> who, Watch, who you got win? I, I, well, my, my team's out. Um, I had Arizona winning it. Um, but uh, it's nice to watch uh, Michigan State play so well uh, and get in again. Um, of course, Kentucky's there. Um, first time really I've seen Duke all that much um, uh, with their young team. Um, and then Wisconsin is, is kind of kind of like Michigan State, the old soul uh, of the group. Um, and I, I'd like to see Bo Ryan win it. It'd be nice. I think there's a lot of sentiment for that. But I don't think anybody's going to beat Kentucky.